afraid to keep on living Music in this MSL totally sucks Hey guys, Ranchin, bring you all another StarCraft commentary. Semi-finals of the last second MSL, second set, my babies! If you haven't watched the first set, go watch the first set first, my babies! Cause goddamn, that shit shizzle was goddamn the shit, I man! Let's go watch that, yeah. Just watch it. Cause it's good. And cause I'm gonna spoil the results. Luxury is 1 0 ahead, and there's a picture of Zero wearing a weird old time costume with a cutlass. I think that was a cutlass or a rapier, whatever that was. Whatever that was, Zero is behind here, and you, we just could see his dreams of going forward in this MSL being killed by luxury. Mind you, it wouldn't surprise that many people, but still kind of sad. Zero is a, a Zerg I'll actually like. I'm not rooting for anybody here because luxury also a player I highly admire, and they're cuffing a little bit themselves, getting themselves ready, and so he's just two steps close. Just one step closer to getting revenge for his younger little brother. <laughs> Four, three, two, one, go. So the older, the more powerful broodling tw twin, the superior broodling twin. Man, I hate calling them that though. <laughs> it just sounds so, feels so mean. You know what I mean? So, oh, okay. What well, was I think? Teal now changed to. Uh, beige or white is going to be luxury at the bottom right. And here at the 11 o'clock is going to be in red, it's going to be zero. Both players against, against of course, going zero. It would be hilarious if one of those players had said, you know what, screw this, I'm going to go Protoss. I'm like, what? Surprise that I got completely. Or go random, that'd be hilarious. But, not allowed, not allowed. I think by rules you gotta like play the, ins the same race the entire tournament. So, I think that's the way it works. So, this is gonna be destination. No, wait, is it destination? Could be Carthage. Crapasaurus Rex on a stick! This. Ha <laughs> uh, crap. But yeah, whatever map this is, whatever map it is, it's gonna be an interesting game. All in all. Yeah, that's that's what. What? <laughs> no, seriously. Yeah, this is destination. In fact, it's destination. I swear. Seriously. See, told you, destination. I recognize the map. Damn it! Why did I doubt myself? Destination. Carthage is next on the list. I read the list. So, uh, me ranting horribly and not making any sense. Missing build order. Zero at 11 o'clock has put down very early gas while Luxury has elected to go for spawning pool, uh, what I believe to be 9 pool and then gas, while Zero is just going to start mining very, very early gas and then get his spawning pool. We're going to see overall what kind of builds. This is a little bit interesting. Um, we're going to see what, what what he's going for here. might be going very, very quick there, although I'm not quite sure he's getting his gas way before his spawning pool. Maybe he's thinking of being very aggressive. Didn't work for him too well last game. Um, he started off with very early aggression, forcing Luxury to cancel a hatchery. And after thought, after that, I really thought he would have it. But Luxury countering perfectly, just putting a hatchery inside his main, just using those extra minerals to build a crap load of zerglings and just breaking out. Now, Paul is a little bit different. Well, more people think that Zero will take the second set. He think uh, he thinks he will come back from this. They think he's a player of strength, but uh, Zero could break. He's newbie here. He's never been this far before. And now he's being faced against Luxury, I think has been one of his, aside from the round of 32, has been his greatest challenge so far. Um, I don't want to say anything bad about Yarnak or Savior, but I definitely think that Luxury is a much, much bigger challenge than any of those two guys. No offense to all, any fans or the players themselves. Lair, very early Lair build, as well as a hatchery inside for Zero. I mean, Luxury now has some Zerglings there, just being ready. Uh, not actually moving out or putting on any really pressure, p putting it down his own hatchery. So I suppose he's keeping those rookies inside for more of a defensive purpose than anything else. They're almost up, I think, sometime soon. Panabur guy! Am I allowed to call him that? I don't think I am. I think Tasteless has. Okay, fine. Panda looking guy. Uh, panda look alike guy. Only Tasteless allowed to call him Panda Bear guy. Fine. 
Very few Zero games being produced by Zero right off the bat. He has only four. A luxury producing additional ones. And we can see what he tries to put in some pressure. Actually, no, he's just keeping those Zero games there at one location. Apparently, he was thinking of sneaking them by uh, with an overlord there. But no, he's not going to care now. He's now just going to run those four. He has the speed upgrade ready. So he's going to force inside. Zero is almost nothing. Oh my god, now getting his fire going. But he has almost nothing. No, should definitely be thinking more. He's actually building drones when he should be doing Zero games. First to Zero is now up there for luxury. He's going to be reinforced very quickly now. Zero could be in serious trouble. Luxury should be able to break this. Moving up with the Zergings. And he already now has broken this. Now going to be in time for Zero's base. Zero in such huge trouble. Producing some more Zergings. A few more Zergings on side. But oh, Luxury with the Spear Gains. going to be able to surround everything. He's going to start attacking the Spire. And some old Zergings are going to be able to surround him. Might even go for the spotting pool. Look, Zero forcing to pull some drones off the way. But those drones are going to get taken down. The Spire goes down. Sucker calling to get ready by Zero. But the Spire. Oh man, the Spire has been taken out. The second colony is going to go down before he gets created. Some Zergings there. I think a lot to actually do those drones, but all in all, all the Zergings of Zero is not a lot. Zero now a huge job. He's going to be a complete massacre here. There's nothing they can do to bring get back into this game, I think. No, God. Okay, most of Luxury's Zergings have been killed at this point. He has the one inside, but oh man. Spire gone down. Crap. Um, I'm not sure if Zero cancelled it or lost it. Because if you lost it, that was that was horrible. No matter which it is, his spy is going to be so late now. Luxury still staying inside there with a one speed upgrade Zero game. has very little health, but still being just a complete menace. Now finally getting taken down by a drone. And Luxury is going to force up with even more Zerglings. And he's going to have his Spire very... Or should be up by this point already. So he's going to have Mutalisk way before. And now just putting in Zerglings. He's going to go in for another push. As I don't think the Zero is going to be able to take another push. Luxury is going to go up here. Up this round. Going to start pushing up with a few more Zerglings. And he's going to wait for reinforcement before he does any more damage. He does have that speed upgrade going for him. And that Spire is not ready. And as soon as Mutalisk pop, that's going to be it. I think... Even if Zero gets his part, I think his timing is far too late. I think that's going to be it. He's not going to have anything, any air defenses enough anytime soon. The Zerg is now going to move up. Luxury trying to break in. Doing a pretty good job. Killing all that thing. All the Zerg. Yeah, he does. And now again, moving inside and living here inside of Zero's base. Oh my freaking god. Zero has some Zergings to engage, also trying to engage with his drones, but overall Luxury takes out all the Zergings. now going to focus on all these drones, his drones are going to be massacred, he's going to lose most of his own Zergings, if not all of them, but he's going to be able to take him down as many Zergings as he can, now moving out with his own Mutalisk, and that's going to be it, oh, Spire just now ready for Zero, Zero's absolutely, completely, and absolutely, and just, well, what, what, how many words are in the English language for screwed, I don't know, but every single one of them fits here, oh man, this is just so bad. Dodge is going to Michael Joseph. I don't even know why Zero is staying in this game. He's got nothing. I think he's running downwards with some Zerglings or something. But now Scourge out. That's going to force Luxury to go down back a little bit. But there's nothing that he has. There's no way. Luxury has this game already. There's Okay, it does manage to take out two, actually, two meters. So Mike Ring is Scourge pretty well. Luxury being a little bit careless. Now finally Mike Ring is Mutalisk the way you have to. Keep taking down all the Scourge. Zero is actually going to move in with some of his own Zerglings, but I think they're definitely going to be enough to defend his two Zerglings as well as all those drones. And Mutalisk are not going to be able to do anything. I'm not going to be even surprised if he managed to do any sort of damage. Uh, I think he might take... Ah, uh, might... No, doesn't even take out one drone. Everything survives. Zero screwed. He's done. He's it's over. Luxury has this. Uh, Zero is just being stubborn at this point. He sh he should honestly just conserve his energy and focus on the last match. He just but he knows he doesn't want to be too old behind because being too old behind luxury just so bad, so so bad for you. But that's 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 well that's what happens. He's done. He's he's absolutely finished. He's gonna have some scourge there spawning outside. Ah, leaving his own scourge unattended. Instantly losing some, and Zero <laughs> Luxury now has Mutus in there, forcing to fly around and mic around due to those scourge. But uh, Zero now has some of the Mutus of his own. But now there are those Zergling inside. They're gonna be able to completely kill the economy. Zero, of course, has not been able to do anything. That was gonna be forced to draw all those Zerglings back, drones back. Some scourge still in the air for Zero, and that one Mutus is gonna try to put hold luxury bag as long as he can but he's forced to dance around those drones and just not gonna be able to do anything at one scourge again get killed zero doesn't have anything he has one mutalisk in the air which is not gonna get some free shout out gg finally from zero you can't stay stubborn forever you gotta conserve your energy man luxury now two ahead perfect timing this guy plays with timing 
That's just how he does it. I've seen him win with timing. That's just how he wins with just impeccable timing. And that's exactly what it does against Zero here. Zero gets got completely with his pants down. And it just, this is what happens. You you make Zero crap his pants with the way Luxury times his attacks. Branching out, third set soon.